Hey guys, how are you? Uh, so we are here again for for the lab one for our TM1 training. If you have any question about your um, about the class we have, you can just email me on cognos dot class dot ten dot two dot two at gmail dot com. If you have any question about anything related to the class we had and now we're going to have a lab session where we will create uh, a tm1 data server this is our lab one so if you have any question just email me on cognos.class.10.2.2 at gmail.com and we will arrange uh, a separate session for you thanks let's start with uh, the lab one So this is uh, Cognos configuration for TM1. Here you can see there's an admin server, and there's an application server, both servers are running. There's a, so admin, there will be, uh, there can be many admin server in a network, but this is a standalone uh, deployment. So there's only one admin server. They can be any number of application server in an installation and then they can be any number of uh, uh, TM1 data server basically where uh, all your data sit. Okay, we already gone through this. So let's create a data server. So select TM1 server, right click new resource TM1 instance and say demo server you can name anything uh, should be reasonable you know as per your business requirement and the projects you are doing um, and then say okay so we need to provide as we discuss in the class let's go there my data servers um, directory my all database directory sit under tm1 tm164 you can you can create anywhere there is no hard and fast rule for this so <clears throat> let's create this folder demo server should be the same the name you ha we have given to our data server like here demo server so it should be the same this one so directory name should be same as per your and then every data server every tm1 data server require a configuration file name tm1s which will sit under that directory and there will be a directory called data okay now where your dimensions your facts your configuration your security object your processes your ti processes your chores everything will sit here we won't go through in detail the file names and the file extension We'll go through the file name and file extensions as um, we'll go deep in our uh, session uh, in our TM1 journey. So let's configure TM1S configuration file here. Go to edit. Okay. In here for now, we will configure few things. So integrated security mode is one. So there could be five option one two three five as we discussed in the class so for now we'll say windows security then the name of our server is demo server and the 
directory where the database directory state is demo server forward slash data and the server local admin host is the local host and the port number is three all right so we configure some main uh, configuration as we have discussed in the class we'll save it good we'll go to cognos configuration we'll go to detroit tm1 tm164 demo server and it's a select okay so it's accepted if you want then it would have shown some error here okay right click here and then just say start so yes it's okay So our server started with a bit of warning, but that's okay. Now we'll close this. We don't want to start other database server, data servers. And we'll go to architect. This is the architect and file refresh servers. So now you can see the server we have configured now it's appearing here in tm1 possible servers if there is some error or some issue you won't see this server appearing here so we'll just say double click so by default when you create first time the the username is admin and password is blank and our server is ready so i hope you will be all right creating the tm1 data server yourself so have a practice and then we'll come back with the next uh, lab in which we will create a tm1 dimension thanks for now but if you have an issue just drop an email to me on cognos.class.10.2.2@gmail.com and I will arrange a separate session with you guys thanks bye for now